As we're getting more information about the crewmen, I spent the day finding out more about their training. It's no small feat, but I spoke to the Navy's first female helicopter pilot today, and she said it's crucial to any hope of survival when things go wrong. 30 years ago this year, Joellen Oslin made history. As time goes on, I realize what a big step it was for the Navy to begin to train pilots 30 years after the WASPs did their flying in World War II. She flew search and rescue missions as the Navy's first woman helicopter pilot. The search is always very difficult. It's uh, almost impossible to see people in the water, even from low altitudes. And she remembers vividly the extensive training to increase your chances of being one of the people who survives. During the course of your training, you have to learn three to four different aircraft, um, all the systems and everything. Just about the time you feel like you're getting good in one, you, you upgrade to another. There's ground school and survival training. We were taken out and dumped in the water in places and, uh, you know, able to uh, inflate our rafts. Deploying signaling devices and more to make you visible during a search. And then there's this exercise in the helicopter dunker that would be frightening to most, designed to do three things. Keep oriented to not panic and find your way out of the helicopter once it has hit the water and rolled over and begins to sink. Something the helicopter will do as soon as the rotors stop and it flips over. Chances are you've been injured uh, in the impact with the water. Uh, it's very easy to get trapped inside the helicopter. While there are still many questions surrounding Wednesday's crash, Oslin says there are many things that worked in the crewman's favor. They had very, very fast emergency response and were taken out of the water very quickly. But even with the best conditions and world-class training, history has proven that each mission they take off for has dangers they may not live to tell. I also asked Captain Oslin about the probability of being able to save your fellow crewmen if a helicopter goes down. She said despite all of the attire they wear to last longer in the water, the chances to help each other in those difficult circumstances are remote. Our coverage of the Navy helicopter crash continues on air at 6, online at wavy.com, and on your mobile app. Right now on wavy.com, you'll find the entire video from today's news conference and from Chopper 10 of the crash scene.